Well, good morning from the banks of the River Tyne on an extremely windy day. Um, I wanted to do this brief bulletin um, basically just to bring you up to speed with uh, the channel news and what's happening and also to test out the new camera and the microphone which is being tested today we have uh, 47 mile an hour wind gusts so uh, this is a good test uh, for the microphone and of course the last time I used this camera was in the office so the uh, uh, picture quality in 4K didn't really get a chance to uh, show its potential. So those are the reasons for doing this. But um, <clears throat> I have to admit I'm slightly frustrated because here we are on the 7th of April and the weather is still crap is it not <laughs> some people agreeing with me there it's actually just abysmal i mean today as you can see there are some fantastic um, skyscapes with clouds and blue sky but in 47 mile an hour winds there's no way you can put a drone up and there's been heavy showers as well so even going out to do a narrative is, is pretty much out of the question. I'm getting, well, not slightly frustrated, extremely frustrated, um, because um, the, um, the weather just isn't improving at all. It's just day after day after day of rain. Um, and if, like on a day like today, you get some sunshine, there's extremely strong winds. So you can imagine, <clears throat> I haven't been wasting time. i um, almost completed the, all of the narratives on the Durham Tyne and Weir coast. So that's obviously a, a task that needs to be done. Um, but I'm not getting out shooting. Um, and, um, Time's running out. As you know, I intended to start the Rivers project in May, and here we are one week into April, and there's a backlog of um, filming needs to be done. I've got some of the filming done. Um, the next episode in the Durham series is already scheduled for release on April the 19th. Um, on my usual Friday at six o'clock time. So that's already up there. Um, <clears throat> and I think if I remember rightly, that's the episode on South Shields. And I've already filmed the following episode, which is Whitburn. So that's ready to be edited. But of course, um, the one that should be accompanying that um, Durham episode is, um, as you know, I'm trying to run the two parallel, is the um, third section of Hadrian's Wall. And there's no way I can get out there at all. So as, it's, as I said, it's extremely frustrating. Um, nothing I can do about it, of course, but um, as I said, there's, there's, a, there's a backlog. Um, and it's, uh, it, it, as I said, it's not pleasing at all. So I'm going to hang on to my hat here, right on the edge of the river, as you can probably see. Um, and the wind is just unbearable. I mean, you can probably see it's blowing the camera all over the place and blowing me all over the place as well. So it's just, honestly, you know, what's happening with our weather? Um, it's just unbelievable. 
I'm going to have to go back on the inside just to get some some sense here honestly this is just unbelievable <clears throat> so i hope you can understand my frustration but as i said there's nothing i can do about it at all um we've just got to grin and bear it so as i said the the schedule of release is going to get um seriously um delayed um so please bear with me and don't lose hope it's not that i'm oh sorry i'm just losing my bag as well anyway before i <clears throat> forget um the other thing i wanted to tell you is that um i don't know whether any of you watched them really but i did a, a short series of five episodes of um, haunted histories and i stopped doing them uh, two years ago because they just weren't getting the same viewer numbers as um, as the rest of me stuff however when i was doing the research for um see them uh which I think is episode seven of the Durham series. I might have that wrong. Um, but when I was doing the research for that, um, I came across a true story, um, a one of a serial killer, Mary Ann Cotton. And, um, it was such a good story i didn't want to just include it in the um durham tyne and weir series um i just felt that that would have been a little bit of a waste and so i decided to add an episode six to the haunted history series um and um, it's going to be produced um, soon, in the next few weeks. So, as I said, um, the Haunted History series might not have been your bag, but I think you'll find uh, this particular um, piece interesting. Um, as I said, it's a true story. Um, if I just stop for a moment, um, I've purchased the book um, by a guy called David Wilson. He's a criminologist and um, studied the particular case. So, as I say, it's, this wind is actually blowing me off my feet. It's that strong absolutely unbelievable i'm gonna shelter behind this sculpture here um just to get me breath for whatever the reason the haunted history series didn't get a um a particularly strong following um maybe just the the people into ghost stories even though there was true fact involved in them but hey ho that's what it is but as i say this one is a true story so as i say i hope you'll watch that um because it's it's different to the other haunted histories they have a little bit of um you know uh leave it up to you to decide whether it was true or not element to them um but this one is based on uh, true fact Jack the Ripper, I should say, is uh, deemed as the first British uh, serial killer. But Mary Ann Cotton actually began murdering 16 years before he came to light. So, as I say, the media tends to like the uh, Jack the Ripper stories. Uh, they seem to lend themselves to drama productions and films 
Um, but as I say, Mary Ann Cotton killed more people and um, she started 16 years before Jack the Ripper. Anyway, um, that's it. Um, I hope this has recorded well. As I say, it's partly a test as well as uh, trying to give you some news. And um, I just hope the weather changes soon so we get some fine days but without the wind. Um, I think the Met Office have called this storm Kathleen. Um, I'm go I think they're going to run out of alphabet the amount of storms we've had this year. So as I say, I hope the situation improves. But if you're all wondering why um, the releases aren't on time, that's the reason why, as I said, I can't film in this. It's just, uh, it's literally, as you've just seen before, just about blowing me off my feet. So I'll bid you farewell. As always, good health. And I hope to see you very soon in a proper and full production. Bye for now.